Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you guys this model off-duty bun and makeup look that we usually see on like Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, except today I'm going to show you how to achieve it on curly hair. If you watched my last video, you know that my hair was looking something like this so that I could create this and so that leaves my hair looking like this so my hair was pretty stretched out already from the last video first thing i did was create a middle part all the way to the middle part of my head and then so my hair is just a little easier to deal with i'm gonna dampen it just a little bit now you're gonna take your favorite styling product i'm taking this honey baby styling cream gel and i'm just applying it all over the top and towards the bottom and then i'm just gonna start brushing and swooping my hair up because this is an upwards bun now it doesn't matter if it doesn't come out too perfect here i'm just trying to figure out what it's going to look like where i want it positioned and what i'm going to do with the puff that i have on top of my head so then now that i know that it's going to look like this i'm going to take some water and a little bit of that styling product and rake it through so that the curls sort of activate a little bit they don't look so dry and they're just a little more manipulated because my bun didn't come out looking perfect the first time, I took the hair down and I started swooping up towards the top of my head, really focusing mostly on that middle section there because that's the part that really shifts. And once that was done, I went ahead and created my bun and on the last turn, I leave my curly hair out and I make sure that it's positioned upwards, not downwards, so that it sort of like fans over my head, you know? And then of course the toothbrush to swoop back any flyaways, the baby hairs, all of that good stuff. Now I'm gonna let the curls dry so that they set right and move on to the makeup portion. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and take care of the skin. We're gonna work with moisturizing the skin. I'm gonna apply my foundation, concealer, and the translucent powder. All the information I'm gonna leave in the description box. For the translucent powder, I've been taking a small brush and sort of just tapping in the product in the places I want to mattify or just set in. Okay, so what I've been seeing online a lot has been talks about brow lifts and how a lot of these models might have it and that's how they achieve that look. But I'm gonna show you how to mimic that a little bit with makeup. If you notice, usually their eyebrows are angled upward. I mean, that is what a brow lift is anyways, but yeah, if you brush your brows downward, your eyes look a little more rounded and doll-like, but if you brush them upward, it sort of makes your face look a little more swooped up, if that makes sense. There's a lot of people that shave off the ends of their eyebrows and just draw it in, but I don't feel like doing all that. I wanna keep my shape, so I just brush them up and I apply this e.l.f. wax stick to to make sure my eyebrows stay up that way all day okay for my cheeks I'm gonna be using these three different brushes a bronzer a blush and of course a highlighter so I'm gonna take the big fluffy brush and I'm gonna start patting in some bronzer onto like the hollows of my cheeks then I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna apply some bronzer from the corners of my eyes up to my temples. This is a trick that I saw Rihanna's makeup artist do to also give you that snatched up look. And I love it, I've been incorporating that into my makeup routine. So with the bronzer, I'm gonna take the smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the bronzer and apply it almost from the corner of my eye, down the bridge of my nose, under my nose. I'm gonna apply a little bit under my lip. This sort of helps create an illusion like your lip is drooping a little more. It makes your lips look a little more plump. With the medium fluffy brush, I'm gonna take some of the blush and apply it onto the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna take a bit of the highlighter and apply it right above that. I'm gonna apply it on my cupid's bow and on my nose. Okay, moving on to the eyes. You're gonna take a small detailed angled brush and you're gonna take like a coffee brown eyeshadow color and apply that right in the inner corner of your eye all the way to the bottom inner corner. This is gonna give off an illusion of a more almond eye shape. And then you're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of that on the outer corner. I like to take a small blending brush and bring that color into my crease, creating sort of like a big cat eye sort of shadow, if that makes sense. Now you can keep it this light and take a mascara and brush your eyelashes to the side. Or you can go ahead and darken that a little bit more by adding some more of the shadow, trying to maintain that triangle wing, but really blending out the edges. Because I wanted to be a little extra, I took this shimmery color and applied it on my lid. 
and then you're gonna take a little bit of that coffee brown color again and you're only gonna apply it to the end part of your lower lash and connect it up to your top I like to add some individuals on my eyes so that it opens up the look a little bit more. And so I took about three and just placed it towards the end of my eye. And then last but not least, the lips. I'm taking this lip liner and the color brown. And then this matte cream nude color to fill that in. Excuse the chap lips. Um, when I get really anxious, I sort of start picking at my lips a little bit. And with everything going on, I've been a little anxious so but yeah that is pretty much it my hair has dried there's a couple of pictures i took because i was feeling myself super easy i hope it was easy to follow but anyways that is all i have for you guys today i will see you guys in my next video